Hi guys, I'm Manisha and welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we're talking about mask ne or mask acne. I know I'm late, but I did uh, avoid making video on this topic because a lot of skin influencers and a lot of content creators have made videos upon it with great information. So I thought I don't need to, but I am making this now because recently I have faced it myself, redness, acne, whiteheads, especially around the cheeks and the chin area and I realized that this is because of the prolonged usage of face masks. Also because the temperature is rising and it's getting pretty hot and humid, I did change up my routine and it helped me a lot. So I thought I'll share my tips with you guys. And uh, looking at the situation, unfortunately the virus is quite present and masks are not going anywhere anytime soon. Starting off with the term mask ne. So it basically refers to mask acne or acne, redness, itchiness caused because as a result of wearing masks for a longer period of time, especially around the cheeks, chin and jaw area. So what happens is you already have oil and bacteria on the surface of the skin. The mask also traps humidity as we are breathing or sweating. So this creates like a breeding environment for the bacteria to grow, multiply, clog pores and hence create breakouts. Now even if you haven't experienced maskne before, following these tips would help you prevent it further and prevention is always better than fixing once the damage is done. So starting off, first thing is keeping your face clean and that means cleansing morning and evening. So what I used to do was I used to just cleanse my face with water in the morning and then use a proper cleanser in the evening and that was fine before but now using a proper cleanser in the morning and in the evening routine is a must. Actually double cleansing at night. So using an oil based cleanser to remove all the oil soluble impurities like makeup and sunscreen and then going on with a water-based cleanser so that removes your dust impurities dirt etc so making sure that your face is pretty clean before you apply any other products not squeaky clean but clean and your hands should be clean too first of all avoid touching your face Especially if you're already dealing with acne and itchiness, redness, don't touch your face. And when you want to apply products on your face, just make sure that your hands are pretty clean. Wash your hands often and make sure that they are clean. Now to prevent causing breakouts, you have to control the sebum production and excessive oiliness on your skin. And a great ingredient for that is niacinamide. Using niacinamide serum and niacinamide moisturizer would help you immensely to control that sebum production. It would also reduce any redness and inflammation and would slowly help you to fade away the acne scars that you have. Now keep in mind reducing oil on your face doesn't mean that you have to skip on your moisturizer. Instead now it's even more important to protect and repair that skin barrier. So use a lightweight moisturizer, something that packs in hydration and also contributes to repairing your skin barrier. So ingredients like glycerin, hyaluronic acid, panthenol, Sika, ceramides, these ingredients will would help you give that benefits. It is also important to choose a mask that is made up of a breathable material like a 100% cotton mask so that the sweat is not trapped inside. Also, please wash your mask often. There's a lot of oil and bacteria build up inside your mask when you wear it for a longer period of time. And uh, using single usage masks is obviously not environmental friendly. So get a pack of reusable masks so that you can wear it, wash it and use it in rotation. In the nighttime routine, adding a chemical exfoliator, AHAs or BHAs, PHAs would help unclog the pores and treat any active breakouts. But you don't have to go overboard. Choose exfoliator and use it in a really low percentage, twice or thrice in a week and in the nighttime routine only. And you can go for a heavier moisturizer afterwards because in the nighttime your skin loses water and 
using a chemical exfoliator can further dry out your skin so a thick layer a heavy layer of moisturizer would make sure that you have a protective seal on your skin also keep in mind that your acne won't go away or disappear in a day you're treating it and any treatment would take a little bit of time so in short keeping your morning routine fairly basic with a gentle cleanser lightweight moisturizer spf that's it and in the nighttime routine double cleanse maybe use an exfoliator a heavier moisturizer and you're done again and lastly well it's not a tip but an obvious thing is to avoid wearing makeup because more layers would definitely add up the chance of more clogged pores and then rashes breakouts which we clearly do not want and that was it for my video today guys thank you for watching please hit the like button if you like this video leave a comment and let me know if you have more tips and tricks to avoid mask me and uh, subscribe to my channel share this video and i'll see you guys in my next one thank you for watching bye and then create a seal and pr protect your now keep in mind reducing oil on your 100% cotton mask so that the sweat it is also important to choose a mask that is like share subscribe to my channel and see you guys in the next one